What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. In this video, we're gonna be covering sled variations, okay? So if you're involved with strength sports or maybe you just like conditioning or have a gym, you know, whatever. I'm sure you've seen sleds before, okay? We're a big fan of doing sled work. I've been doing sled work uh, since I was a teenager involved with sports and it's just always been something that I've included in my training uh, just for overall GPP, kind of getting my heart rate up, warming up, um, and just building that work capacity. So a lot of great things you can do with sleds. So in this video, we just wanna show you. Now, before we get into it, we have a couple of different sleds here that we use every single day, okay? So this is a Rogue sled. It's a little bit cheaper than the dog sled, but basically the same thing. I think it's like the Echo dog sled. This is the actual dog sled. This is like our heavy duty sled that we use for pushing, pulling, etc. And this is, uh, I forget exactly what they call our Rogue, but it's basically a cheaper sled that can fold up. Uh, so you can throw in the back of your car, your truck, whatever, uh, take it to a park. So it's just easy to use uh, and very versatile. It is a light sled. So if you are looking for kind of how we laid out, it's always like a light, medium and heavy sled here. And depending on the athletes that we have, we have people who are really advanced. Okay, we have people who just start. So that's kind of how we pick and choose who goes on what sled. Uh, and that kind of helps also break up uh, the weight differences. So. We're gonna get into it guys, just giving you really quick different variations uh, for the sled and uh, kind of just talking about all sleds today. So let's go. All right guys, so first variation, it's just gonna be a backward sled drag. Now the reason I like these is because it takes the upper body out of the equation. All right, she has, actually we're using a rogue dip belt uh, around her hips and then we're just attaching uh, this to, uh, with a little bit of chain to the sled. Okay, so that's kind of our setup. Now we don't want to be too close to the sled because then obviously it's hard to walk and get a good stride out of it. So that's why we have a chain that's attached to this. So it gives her space. Uh, you can do these for as many sets as you want, depending on the distance and how heavy you want to go. Right now we have about 50 feet uh, worth of sled dragging. So she's just going to show you guys a basic sled drag. So just using this all coming from the legs and the hips. Very simple, very effective. And there you have it. So that's just your basic backward sled drag. All right, so the first uh, variation you saw Coach Shiny doing was just a backward uh, drag with the belt around her hips, no upper body included. Now, if you wanna include your upper body a little bit, okay, she has these smaller straps now, and she's just going to keep good tension with her upper body and just drag it backwards. So slightly different variation. Now we're just including a little bit more upper body in with this variation, and she's gonna help uh, warm her back up. Also, her biceps are looking outrageous right now. So if you guys are trying to flex on them homies at the gym, do a backwards drag and squeeze your arms really tight. Now, Coach Shine is actually doing a frontward uh, drag. So this is going to hit more quad focus because we're moving in that forward uh, plane, okay? So if you're looking to do some sort of drag while using the uh, harness around your hips and you want to hit more quads, you can face forward. She could also sprint with it if she wanted to, change the difference in the tempo with how she's moving. Uh, but we're just trying to throw a ton of different uh, variations for you guys in there. All right, now if you're looking for kind of another variation that's gonna be a little bit more explosive and full body, uh, we're gonna do a sled drag uh, with a fly, okay? So you guys may have seen me do these before in my training, but it's something I really like just for getting your heart rate up, building a little bit of explosiveness and athleticism into your training. So when we're here, we wanna make sure that we have longer straps so we have space. I actually like kind of letting the sled pull my arms all the way forward. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back and then fly. And if you notice that I open my hips all the way and then I proceed to do the fly. So kind of just step back, load up, big fly just like so. Coming down, pulling. We wanna make sure we have the distance so that the sled doesn't hit our feet, so make sure the weight's heavy enough and you have a good amount of distance, because if this is super light, it's gonna come flying at you uncontrollably, and uh, if it catches your toe, that really sucks, and I don't want that to happen to you. So, arms are straight, close the hips, big pull, and that is gonna be a drag plus a fly. So, looking for something a little bit more athletic and explosive, throw these in, you can do as many sets and as reps as you want, or cover some distance, use it for uh, explosiveness, maybe you're gonna go a little bit heavier, less reps, or if you're trying to warm up, get your heart rate up, you can do it for more reps, lighter weight, full body stimulus. So unlike the explosive one, we can also just do a sled row. So basically let your arms 
Uh, be pulled all the way forward, drive back. Okay, take a couple steps back, driving back with our elbows. So we're just doing basically a sled row. So it's not gonna be as explosive, uh, but it's gonna allow you to kind of warm up your back, uh, hit the legs a little bit, and just another variation for you guys to try. Now, if you're really trying to hit the legs in a different way, sometimes what we will do is just gonna be uh, a sideways drag, okay? So I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna let my leg cross over just like so, okay? So if you're looking to target uh, your legs a little bit more, trying to work on the outside of the legs, you can do side steps uh, with the sled using the strap. All right, now the infamous uh, one you guys probably all know is just gonna be a sled push. Now there's a couple different ways we can do this, all right? Uh, it's up to you guys if you wanna keep your arms straight or bend your arms. Okay, we do both, so sometimes we push the sled with straight arms like so. Other times, we kind of put a little bit more lean into it and we're pressing uh, or, and pushing just like this. Now, what you guys probably see, right, is people sprinting with the sleds. Now, that's one variation, okay, so I'll show that. And then I'm gonna show you something else you can do. So, if we're here, okay, driving the knees, pushing the sled. Now, the other variation we can do is what we call a sled trudge. So basically, I'm gonna push the sled out all the way out and when I do this, I wanna make sure that my heel is in contact with the floor every single time, okay? So that's just gonna deliver a different stimulus. You're gonna feel it's not only in your calves, um, but also the hamstrings as well. Okay, so typically, a lot of people are just gonna be on the balls of their feet, which is totally fine. But for a trudge, we go really heavy, and we'll push with the whole heel strength down on the ground, okay? So that kind of mimics just kind of trudging up a hill but delivering a little bit different of a stimulus by engaging some muscles slightly differently when we let that heel completely hit the ground each time. Now, obviously, these are the basics. You guys can get super creative with it. You can do some single arm work. All right, we've seen people who kind of sit low, push their back against the sled, and they're driving it that way. We've done arm over arm pulls uh, with the sled. So the world is your oyster. We just want to give you guys some basics and emphasize that we really like sleds here. Especially if you're in the Ford sport of strawman, you're probably gonna use a sled at some point or have some sort of drag in an event or a medley that you do. Uh, so it can be sport specific. But that's all we had, guys. Take these, try to throw them into your training. Uh, you know, I think they're gonna work great, whether it's to warm up, get your heart rate up, uh, or just kinda get in some explosive and athleticism to your training. Uh, but as always, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and if you guys want a more in-depth look at our community, go to Facebook in the Facebook search bar, type in The Iron Lions, and you guys can be accepted into our private Facebook group where we put tons of tips, tricks, uh, we do form critiques, we throw articles in there, and it's just a great hub of people who all pretty much have the same goals that you do, but it's a community for you guys all to hang out and discuss training, etc. Uh, so that's all we have for today, guys. Head on over to zastrank.net if you're looking for some programming. We have tons of programs on there. I'm sure something is going to cater to your needs. But until then, stay a lean, mean strength machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.